Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. A gentle reminder as always to please like the video and to subscribe to the Formula Sports channel. These are free ways to support the channel. You know, just hit the thumbs up button and also hit the, th the subscribe button as well. Um, You know, and as always, as always, man, we do appreciate the support. You know, the channel has received tremendous support, man. So, you know, we, we, we just have to say thank you and it is much appreciated. So, guys, I have an apology. I have an apology to make to Devon Speedy Williams because, honestly, I'm not going to lie. I was not one of those who was too happy about Devon Speedy Williams making the final 23, right? Um... Trust me, man, I was one of those that I would have preferred to have to have had the luxury of coming into this tournament, this Gold Cup tournament, without Devon Speedy Williams, right? Um, one have to apologize to him and say that I'm sorry for publicly saying that, right? That I I you know that we needed to, you know, move away from, from Speedy. Uh, from uh, you know, and truth be told, it's not that I was never a, a, a fan of Speedy. It's not that I didn't. I think the players are bad playing because I've always said that the, I personally think the player needs good players around him to to look good, right? I think he's one of those players that he he performs as well as the team or as well as the players around him, right? He's not the type of player, in my humble opinion, that is going to stand out in a poor team. Right. And so, you know, but I, I still have to apologize to him. And I have to say we have to put some respect on Devon Speedy Williams's game. I want to go through his stats a bit. I want to go through his stats in both the Suriname game and also the Guadeloupe game. Let me start with the Suriname game first. 18 minutes played, right? 18 minutes played, right? 18 touches. 12 out of 13 accurate passes, guys. I think that is very important to highlight. 12 out of 13 accurate passes, right? I will not talk no side to side or passes behind to the defense. Or, or you guys saw what Devon Speedy Williams came on and did, right? He injected life into the attack in that Serena. First of all, he... He, he, he played a major role in regaining control of the midfield, right? For Jamaica in that Suriname game, right? Took control of the midfield and, you know, was, was very aggressive in his play. Up the tempo, up the ante, up the intensity, right? Very mobile player and was stringing passes, right? Passes that were breaking the lines, right? Um forward passes passing with intent right he controlled the game control up the tempo controlled the, the game it was it was a very good very good appearance by speedy williams man it, and as i say it's not side to side passes it's not you know passes to the, the defenders man so to have 12 to, to have attempted attempted 13 he had 18 touches and he attempted 13 passes, right? 13 passes, nailed 12 of them. He had one bad pass at a passing accuracy of 92%. Very impressive, right? And the, the one errant pass, the one errant pass was an attempted long ball because he attempted two long balls and one of them was accurate, right? Um. What else? So no shots. He didn't pull off any shots in the in the in the game, right? And he didn't he didn't involve himself in any ground duels as well, right? He had one aerial duel. He did not win that aerial duel, and he only lost possession once. He only lost possession once in his nearly twenty minutes on the park, right? Look at this too interceptions four interceptions four interception guys that's a big deal you know in 18 minutes to have four interceptions in a one 
people say speedy is not an enforcer, right? But do you need to be an enforcer, right? When you are intelligent in your positioning, right? And you can set a bomb and, and you know, um, jump those passing lanes, so to speak. You can anticipate the pass and sometimes even bait the pass and then set a bomb and jump the passing lane. That number is a very impressive number. Four interceptions in 18 minutes played. And he also had one clearance as well. So that was the Suriname game, right? Now, this is the Guadeloupe game, right? And he was even more impressive, in my opinion, in this particular game, right? In the Guadeloupe game. So this is the, the stats for the Guadeloupe game now, guys. Look at that. 29 minutes played. So he basically played half an hour. He basically played 30 minutes. 28 touches of the football, right? Look at the passing accuracy, guys. 96% in half an hour. One errant pass. That is no joke, you know, guys. That is no joke, right? Um, Four attempted long balls, all four of them were successful, right? Four attempted long balls, you know, all four of them were accurate. Right, ground duels, he, he contested two ground duels in the half an hour that he played. And he was success, he successfully won two of those ground duels. So he was 100% in ground duels, right? And in the half an hour, guys, in the half an hour that he played, he lost the football only once. He made one interception and two tackles in the Guadeloupe game. And his, and his impact in the Guadeloupe game was very similar to his impact in the Suriname game, right? He came on at a point in time where we needed to regain some semblance of, of, of control in the middle of the park, right? And he came on and he did just that was the main important reason for us regaining control of the, the, the middle of the park, right? came on, controlled the middle of the park, right? He up the tempo, up the ante. Every time he comes on, the tempo rises. He ups the ante, right? He's a very mobile, a very mobile player. He isn't called speedy for nothing at all. He's a reason I'm called him on speedy people, see? So, you know, he up the tempo, up the ante, helped to regain control of the middle of the park same impact with the passing he made some very good passes that broke the the um the guadalupe lines right and 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 got the, the ball to forward players in advanced positions right so you know that's my whole that's what my whole um thing guys that's my whole thing you know speedy williams has to he has to be praised. He just plain and simply has to be praised for his performance, his two performances thus far in the Gold Cup. I have to apologize to the player and say I am sorry, boss. You have done very well in this Gold Cup tournament so far. Hopefully, you keep up the good work. Right, We have to highlight Devon Speedy Williams' impressive performances in this Gold Cup. So, guys... That's my two cents. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.